guys welcome back to my channel i am k and this is all things k and i want to thank you so much for joining me on another video so as you guys can tell from the title this is another haul this is a collective haul i don't know if this is going to be a part one and part two because i have a few things that i want to share with you guys things that i've collected over the last two months and i've just been collecting and collecting every week or so <laughs> And now I'm gonna sit down and do a huge haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned and keep watching. All right, the first thing I wanna talk about is the Trend Mood Box. I think this was the, I don't even know what month this was. June, I think it came out. And the reason why I got this box was because of the Nabla Cutie Palettes. So it comes with these two Nabla Cutie Palettes. And um, I've always wanted to try Nabla. And again, I can't get my hands on Nabla in Canada without paying duties and stuff. And I didn't have to pay duties on the Trend Mood Box, which I was prepared to do if I had to, but I didn't have to. The first one here, which is the one I'm most excited about, is the Midnight Palette. And I will insert some swatches, but this is what the Midnight Palette looks like. And it is gorgeous, this sapphire blue is so beautiful and the quiet storm shade looks like it's a blue purple duochrome i'm not sure why there's this gold color in there i feel like or bronzy color i feel like it just throws off the palette but I, again i always have swatches of these palettes on my instagram if you want to see a close-up swatch on my complexion and um yeah so that's the first one the second one is the neutral one which is the analog palette and i have done a look with this and i really liked how the look came out um i wish that this shade dark room which is this shade over here was a matte instead of a satin to just i don't know i prefer a, a matte color to deepen up my outer v but this is a it's a nice palette and this shade here is really crumbly but you put that with a glitter glue and the shimmer the shimmer is beautiful so i ain't mad at it i ain't mad at it it's a beautiful neutral palette i love the orangey colors in it will make a beautiful nice warm fall look because you know falls around the corner i ain't happy about that but some people are the next things in the box are these three pencils these are from nabla also and they're the cupid's arrow full color stylo and i guess they can be like eye pencils which is what i'm gonna use them for they said they're long wear multi-use multi-use stylo um, so the first color here is this navy color, which is I guess arrows number six it's called So they're a pencil like that and let me just swatch all three colors for you So these are the shades here. This is number Come on focus. This is number five six and seven um, I would use them as a inner lower lash line pencil there went on very creamy so I'm glad to see to try those out and see how they last the next thing here is a lip plumper is what it looks like and I've heard bad things about this I heard that this really burns <laughs> um, I like lip plumpers so I will see if I like it I'm not gonna try it now it's like a minty scent and it's just clear and the last thing here is the body glow by Nabla and this is in the shade Sugar Babe, which I think is the lightest shade. And yeah, as you guys can see here, um, it the, there's a fault with the packaging. And I noticed that everyone had that issue with this packaging. So I think it's just the packaging itself that's faulty. And that's what that glow looks like. So well, that's all the stuff that I got from the Trend Mood box. And that was my first time ordering from Trend Mood. And I really like this box. And I would order again if it had stuff that I really wanted to try. Like the Nabla stuff. I really wanted to try them. So I'll keep my eye out on the next Trend Mood box. And if I like what they have, then I will order it. Alright, next I placed an order on Beautylish. And I picked up no other than the... Sonia G, they're all dropping, Lotus brush set. Um, 
these are these beautiful white to purple handle um brush set yo i could not pass these up i and everyone ha that has used them has love them i've washed them already because she does recommend that you wash them before use but i'm so excited i am so excited to i saw it's Lori's life use them i saw heavy on the chai use them i saw glam girl chelsea use them yeah, they're so soft and i cannot wait to use them so you guys stay tuned you will see me use them in a get ready with me or something but that's the only thing i picked up from the Beautylish website. The next website that I picked up stuff from is BH Cosmetics. Man, I had to get this Sweet Shop palette. I have three other Sweet Shop. I have the green one, the blue one, and the red one. And I don't want the orange one or the nude one, but this one was always sold out and they brought them back. I don't know for how long. And I definitely wanted this one. This one is the cotton candy. Oops, let me get rid of this. The cotton candy one. Look how beautiful this is. I love the pastel -y purples and I love the pinks. Um, the shimmers are everything. I cannot wait to play. I find that this is just a beautiful spring summer palette. I have nothing like this in my collection i do have some purples but none of these pastel -y purples i don't think yeah so this is something that is unique to my collection and i definitely had to pick it up when it came back in stock but the next palette i picked up from was the say it collection from bh cosmetics and i got the do not disturb which that's right side up but when you open it you have to flip it upside down so this is what the Do Not Disturb palette looks like. And this is my color story. Let me tell you why I picked this up. One, I watch too much of Angelica Nigvist. She does some fabulous looks with the BH palettes. So and every time she does a look, I'm like, damn, I want to recreate that. Um, and second reason, I missed out on the Book of Magic palette from Beauty Bay. And these have a lot of similar colors to that palette. I feel like I can get the same look using this palette that I would from the Beauty Bay palette. I know it has a lot more, but the general theme of this palette looks like something I can get down with. So I cannot wait to play. And the last palette that I picked up from BH Cosmetics is the Passion in Paris 16 color eyeshadow palette. This palette is gorgeous. And again, I'm going to blame Angelica Nigvis because I've seen her do some looks and I had to create it. And she also said that some of the looks that she got from this palette are really close to the Melt Cosmetics Morte palette, which is no longer available. Not all of the shades, but a lot of the reds and the navies. You can get some of those looks with it. This is again my color story. I like a palette that goes from light to dark and i'm ready i'm ready to play i feel like this is a really nice fall palette too especially in this area here so yeah the next place that i picked up some stuff from was juvia's place and they finally had their eyeshadow prep and prime in the shade two in stock this was a shade i wanted and it's been always sold out this shade and i think shade number one are always sold out and this is what the color of shade 2 looks, which will be beautiful for priming the eyes for bright colors. That's why I wanted a lighter shade than my skin tone. And while I was there, I picked up two of the Juvia's Place, Place Rebel palettes. I picked up the Rebel Mints, which is this beautiful, like, tealy, turquoise color palette here. Um, and they swatch beautifully now this doesn't go dark enough for what i like to do so this would be a companion palette but i do love the shades in here i cannot wait to play and i feel like they would pair beautifully with their primer it will really make the color pop more especially if you have a darker skin tone and the one that i really really wanted was the army the rebel army palette 
Now this goes deep. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. This deep shade in the corner here can deepen up any look. And I feel like these palettes will pair nicely together. Like I can get the depth I need from the mattes in this palette and then add those lighter shimmers on the lid. I feel like that's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad to have that. And I also picked up one of the Nubian Intense pencil liners. I have the lip liners, but I've never tried their eyeliners. And I picked up the color, what color is this? Royal, which is a blue. I love blue and green in the waterline, so that's the blue there. It's a vibrant blue, I cannot wait. I cannot wait, I feel like this looks beautiful. So those are the things that I picked up from Julia's place. The next place that I went shopping was at Beauty Bay. Now let's talk about Beauty Bay and their shipping. So I placed the order on Beauty Bay on August 11th and there's a $12.95 shipping fee on top of my order. And then it shipped out on August 12th, so it shipped really quickly. And then there was a duty and taxes and everything of another $25.20. My order total before taxes was $74.50 Canadian. Um, and then with the shipping, it came up to 80 something. So on that, I had to pay another 2520 Canadian and I could have paid that before it got delivered. So I just paid it online and then it got delivered and I didn't have to pay duty at the door. But there are duties to Canada, which I knew when you order from Beauty Bay. So I placed an order for their new wilderness palette. And let me tell you, since I missed out on the Book of Magic palette, <laughs> I was not going to sleep on the Wilderness palette. And secondly, this is gorgeous. This palette, look at that. It is beautiful. It has the blues, the greens, the reds. This, isn't this just a fall palette? It's perfect, they brought it out at the perfect time. I haven't even swatched this yet, but I will insert swatches in the video for you guys to see, um, but it's gorgeous. And I heard the Beauty Bay formula is great, so I'm excited to see that. I've seen a couple people do looks with this. I think Colorful Camille did a look with this. I've seen Karen Harris do a look with this, but I'm excited. I'm excited, like, Every row in here, I could see a look. I can see this teal, turquoise, green look. This grungy, oh, this grungy look. When I think, when I see these colors, I think of Kara from Beauty and the Frizz. I feel like this is her tones right here. She loves the mustards and the khaki greens and stuff. Um, but yeah, this, this is pretty. I cannot wait to play in these colors here. I don't think I have a look where I use a lot of reds and burgundy. So this, I am ready to freaking create with this palette. Like, I'm excited. I'm so glad, so glad I got it. And the next thing I picked up was a, another cutie palette from Nabla. I wanted this palette forever. This is the coral one. And since I was already on the Beauty Bay site, I decided to pick it up because, you know, I was already gonna pay for shipping anyway. And this is so me. Look at that color story. I love it. This is so pretty. And I love how they brought in this deep color here. I think that's a matte to deepen up any look. So beautiful. So pretty. These are, oh, I cannot wait to play. You know what? I should just do a three looks, three palettes featuring the Nabla palettes, because I got the two from the Trend Mood box, and then I got this one. And let me know if you guys want to see that, because I kind of want to do that. I am so excited to play with these palettes. Yeah, yeah, so these purchases right here, I am 
<sighs> Listen, I love eyeshadow. I cannot stop. As you guys can see, I have a ton of eyeshadows. I only got two eyes, but eyeshadow is my favorite part of my makeup routine. I don't even think about what foundation, what blush, what lipstick I'm wearing until I got my eyes done. Like, I don't... Eyeshadow is my thing. And then I picked up three of the Shockwave Neon Liners from um, LA Girl. I can't find these in Canada and I heard that the formula is really good and I don't have any colors like this. I have deep purple pencils, deep blue pencils, and like hunter green but i don't have anything this bright in color and like i feel like they would go great with some of the palettes that i picked up just to give a different look to the waterline instead of having a darker color so i wanted these i heard they're good and they were on the, the website at the time and i did get a 10 percent code i used a 10 percent coupon and i got 10 percent off my whole order from beauty bay too so i just threw these in so that's everything that i picked up from beauty bay the next set of things i picked up was from shop miss a and i only picked up two things from there and it's all because of chantelle from heavy on the chai she swears by these pawpaw sponges um says they're better than a beauty blender they were like 155 i couldn't get the set that had like six in them so i bought like i bought oh and i also bought the holder this is the makeup sponge holder this was a dollar um so i picked up one two three four five uh there was no duties when i ordered from shop miss a but there was like a five dollar 5.95 us dollar shipping charge i think my whole bill came out to 19 canadian dollars with the shipping nothing is better than the beauty blender to me they will always get my coins but i'm going to test these out and i'll let you guys know if they are i mean i'm willing to i'm willing to try a cheaper price sponge but the beauty blender has it like the, the technology in that doesn't blend as well with any other sponge i've tried those beaky or bleaky sponge from amazon one wash in those rip not 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 doing that and then i've tried the kaleidos one it's like you're getting punched in the face it's so hard the real technique ones cannot do um so we shall see we'll give the paw paw wonder blender a try and i'll keep you guys posted man i don't even know how long this video is but I'm gonna keep going and if you're still with me don't forget to thumbs up if you love a good haul so the next place that I ordered from was the glam shop I am blaming this on Kara from Beauty and the Frizz and Ashley from Dr. Ash and her makeup they rave about this brand now this is a Polish brand so I had to order these from Poland now there was duties on this for sure which I knew there would be from Poland so I ordered this on August 10th and it shipped out August the 11th. Um, I got, let me tell you what I got. I got a palette, 16 single shadows, and two empty palettes. And that came up to $78.14 euros. Plus, there was a $20.47 shipping charge. And these are euros euros okay so it came up to 98 dollars and 61 euros that translate into 152 dollars and 19 cents canadian dollars that's ordered shipped on its way to me around august 12th i got a notification from ups that the package has duty charges so there was a 31 dollars and 92 cents canadian on top of the 152 dollars <laughs> for duties but if i paid online i saved five dollars so i paid online and i paid 26 dollars and 27 cents to ups for all the duties and whatever and i got my package on august 17th so seven days total from poland um and I'm waiting for a package from Pat McGrath that I've ordered from around from August 12th and it's still not here and it's 12 days already and they're just next door across the border. This is coming from Poland, <laughs> okay? And I got it in seven days. 
Now, I kind of went ham on it, and I'm going to do a separate video on it um, where I swatch everything. I'm not going to swatch all of these now. So I got the Camel palette, and they come with these little inserts here so that I guess the shadows don't break or anything like that because they're quite textured. So this is what the Camel palette looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? And then because I ordered 16 single shadows, I got two of their empty eight pan palettes to put them in. And then I have the single shadows come in a package like this and it was wrapped in bubble wrap and everything. I'm not gonna open everything, but just know I have 16 of them and I'll just show you guys one. Look at this. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's so pretty. That's my order from Glam Shop. I'm gonna do a separate video with an eye look and a swatch party and everything. But I just wanted to share that with you guys that I did pick up those things. And the last set of stuff, are you guys still with me? Are of course from Sephora. I picked up a few things from Sephora um, that were on my wish list that I just wanted to pick up. <laughs> And I also picked up a refill of something that I needed. So the refill um, was the Fenty Skin um, sunscreen. This is the Fenty Skin Hydro Visor Invisible Moisture um, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. I love this. So I got the refill and it just goes back into the Fenty container. And there we go. I got a new one of those. Then I wanted to try the new Lancome Tent Edol Ultra Wear All Over Multitasking Concealer. This is what it looks like. I love this foundation. It's one of my all-time favorite foundation. And they finally came out with a concealer in this container. They had another concealer, but I didn't try it. So this one is in the shade 435. Does it have a name with this or is it just 435? And it has a really large doe foot applicator. That's what the doe foot looks like. And this is the shade of 435. So it's a great highlighting shade for me. If it would focus, yeah. I tried this once. Um, it's not as full coverage as I wanted. So I'll keep you posted with this one. It's still, I've only tried it once, so I can't really make an judgment with it. But yeah, it's not like something that I fell in love with right from the jump. It's something I need to work with. Then I wanted, I think there was a, I had a coupon code or something. Anyhow, I wanted a, the Pat McGrath mascara. This is the Dark Star mascara. I've wanted this forever. And this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna open it yet because I'm not ready to use it yet. But I do need a new mascara shortly and I wanted the Dark Star one. And then I picked up two lip products. No, I picked up more than two lip products. I picked up three lip products. Picked up a Gucci lipstick. And the first, this color is in 302 Agatha Orange, which has been on my wish list forever. I mean, Vicky J talks about this. Heavy on the Chai talks about this. Kelsey Brianna J talks about this shade. This is a perfect summer shade. And that's what Agatha... Agatha orange looks like and I know you got to be careful with these Gucci matte lipsticks because they like to break Look how vibrant and beautiful that is and then I picked up one of the urban decay um, 24 7 glide on lip pencil. I saw I think it's Angela Denise she did this combo with Agatha orange and this is 714 bright red and it pairs beautifully with this shade. Look at that. That is gonna look so good. So I picked that up to wear with my Agatha Orange. That's just gonna look so popping. I cannot wait to use that. The next lipstick I picked up was another one of the Huda Bossy Browns Power Bullet Cream Lipsticks. I love these lipsticks. I have one already in Habibi, which is a darker shade than this. And then I wanted this one, and I think there's like two more that I want, but I need to calm down. So I got Habibi, no, Raja. This is Raja. It's a lighter nude, and it's more of a brownie nude. I think the last one I got was a, um, this focus, there we go. 
that's what it looks like and I will swatch this and this formula is so pretty look at that this will look so good like your lips but better with a nice brown lip liner the formula I cannot wait I cannot wait I'm so, I love 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 these are like gonna be in my yearly favorites i love the cream lipsticks from huda beauty All right, we're almost done just a few more things and then we can wrap up this video the last thing i picked up was this sample size of the barogio don't despair um mask this is the don't despair repair deep conditioning mask i love the hydrating mask by um barogio it's the one in the green container it's avocado and something and um i really like that but this one is more like a repair mask which i need because i have relaxed hair and i constantly use heat so i always need a good repair mask so i'm gonna give this a try and then i went in to pick up a blush and i wanted to pick up a blush from laura mercier but once I swatched those on my skin, they were ashy. They look darker online. I think there's only two colors that can work, Sangria and something else. But the shade that I wanted was Rose and it came out ashy. So I decided to try one of the Makeup Mario blushes. And this is in the shade Wildberry. And I swatched this and this was beautiful. And I feel like it will be perfect for the upcoming fall season. And this is what it looks like beautiful like berry shade blush this is a swatch yeah that's gonna look beautiful on the complexion and it's so soft that's just gonna give a nice beautiful look to the nice beautiful flush to the cheek and i think that is it that is my huge collective haul those are the things that i picked up over the last few weeks I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm tired of talking. I've talked so much. Um, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you love hauls. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, bye guys.